Alright guys, we're back to Sky Factory 2.5 and um, so this will be the New Dimension episode. Uh, I actually just hit 100 subscribers yesterday, sometime in the middle of yesterday. I think I'm at 102 now. So thanks everybody who has subscribed. That's awesome. I didn't expect to get anywhere near that many as fast as I did. Uh, this series is actually really popular, and uh, it's my most watched series by a long shot. Um, I was at 40 subscribers for the longest time, uh, just kind of hanging out there, and then somewhere in the middle of this series, 60 people just showed up out of nowhere and just all subscribed. So, uh, thanks everybody. I didn't really have anything planned for a 100 subscriber special or anything like that. But I will continue to do the work I've been doing and um, leave suggestions and comments and things because I really like feedback, which is a reason that I like streaming as well because of instant feedback. And Anyway, so uh, I mentioned last episode, well, the last full episode, not the little mini uh, tips and tricks one, but uh, I have this dimension inscriber, and to use that... You can uh, build a dimension by putting dimlets in it and creating a dimension. And the dimlets have to be researched first, so you put them in the researcher. They uh, turn into actual little bits of uh, like terrain modifiers and things like that. You put them on this little page here, well, little this big giant page here. And then you also need this empty dimension tab. It's pretty easy to make five paper and four redstone uh... so you make that that's like a blank sheet of paper uh, a blank dimension sheet tab thing and you put it in this slot down here on the left and then you'll get an a, uh, achievement for that called like new world awaits or something like that i had just got it and uh... then if you have dimlets in your uh... storage here inside the machine you can hit store and it will make a dimension tab based on those properties. You can also just hit store with a giant blank whatever and it will say uh, I think it's supposed to do random like it just makes a new random dimension entirely but whenever you store uh, either empty pane here or full of stuff that you want in your dimension you get this realized dimension tab so you just take that out so it says here, creation costs 2,000 RF per tick. So whenever I put this in the other machine that creates the dimension, it's going to take 2,000 RF per tick to create the dimension from scratch. And then it will cost another 10 RF per tick to maintain the uh, dimension itself. And the tick cost 100, I'm not quite sure what that means. No idea. I don't know how you can pay time for that. Not quite sure. Anyway, let's uh, put this in here and see what happens. This is our dimension builder. It's holding 10 million RF right now by itself. And I've got it hooked up to the Tesseract that will be accepting 32,000 per tick. So I am surely not have to worry about power. 99, 100, OK. Name ID 2, dimension ready. Maintenance cost 10, current power, and it's counting up. Is it actually storing that power? Redstone ignored. Yeah, it stores 40 million RF. Wow and then recharged the machine. Alright, so do I just click here and go in? Oh, so I've got a toolbox of stuff. Uh, I've got a chunk loader here. I'm actually going to put this... I meant to place this down. So here's my idea. This is supposed to be a totally random um, dimension with who knows what in it. So what I'm gonna do is Let's see, I want this chunk loaded right here. 
and a radius of 2. Okay, so my idea is, um, well I don't need this staff for traveling. I'm taking in a magnum torch, my fluid vac, and ender tank to go with the fluid vac, which is hooked up, the other ender tank is here, hooked up to the smeltery casting table system. So if I come across any giant pools of liquid that can be cast into ingots, say like a lake of molten iron or something, then uh, I can just sit inside the dimension and start pulling that metal out and casting it without have to wor having to worry about storage space in my inventory. I also have my ender pouch, the uh, triple black coated ender pouch here. Let me move this up to three just in case. Um, and that is in case I find ores then I can throw them in the ender pouch so they go to the deep dark chest that's down on our second floor and then I also have a resonant cache here for anything that I find a whole lot of that I want to carry out that's not ores or whatever like um, giant pockets of stained clay or something like that uh, I'm also going to go ahead and make some more food I've pretty much just running on been running on toast sandwiches because the um, end cake generator over here keeps making a lot of this wheat flour which I'm making into bread just put it right there and then the bread you cook into toast I'm gonna go do, it, do this little loop manually and then the toast you go one two like that toast sandwiches and those heal you for four hunger and they give you like a full bar of saturation minus I think half at the end so it's like a full bar minus half a point really good for mining excursions using vein miner I've been using these in the deep dark I had a whole stack of them and went through pretty much all of them anyway uh, I think I'm prepared. Armor's fine. Got all my weapons and tools. I guess let's go ahead and hit it. Let me check the recording. Looks like it's perfectly fine. Wouldn't want to miss the journey now, would we? Alright, now. How do I get into the dimension? Huh. Open manual. Need time to construct it. If there's not enough power present, the building will be delayed. You can also take it out your dimension tab if you want to temporarily stop. It will remember current progress. That's good to know. As soon as the dimension is ready, the tooltip on the dimension tab will change indicating the status and current power. You will also notice that the energy level of the dimension builder is suddenly emptied because all current energy in the dimension builder is immediately given to the dimension. The dimension itself has a buffer of 40 million. Don't attempt to go to your dimension if there is not yet enough energy in it. Wait until sufficient energy has been put in it. You can see the current level in the tooltip. Hint, if you shift click with the dimension tab in your hand, you can see what random features were selected for creating this dimension. Note on powering very expensive. Don't care. Special efficiency dimlet. Don't care. Getting there and safety. Once you've created your dimension, you will need a way to get there. To do that, you have to use the RF Tools teleportation system. Oh, now I get it. At the time the dimension is created, the dimension builder also generated a spawn platform with a matter receiver in the middle. This matter receiver will be fully charged, so it is safe to teleport there. After creating the dimension, you'll need a dialing device to dial a matter transmitter to that new dimension. If you gave your dimension tab a name, then that dimension will be named like that. Don't worry. Don't just teleport to there yet. There are a few things you should worry about. Uh-huh. Feeding power. We should not have to worry about power at all. To solve this problem, yep getting back there will not be a matter transmitter you will have to bring your own way back okay that's also good to know put the matter transmitter in your main base fully power it and dial it nearby matter receiver pick it up with a wrench okay so I'm going to need 
two dialers and one receiver. Um, receiver, transmitter, dialing device. What? If you place this block near a dialing device, you can dial it to matter receiver. Matter receiver. If you place this block anywhere in the world, you can dial it to it using dialing device. Okay, so I need a dialing device. Are these expensive at all? Not even close. All right. Matter booster. What's this for? Destination analyzer. I think that checks the destination dimension to see if it's actually safe to exist in. Like, does it have enough power for you to even be there? Okay, so let's go over here to the ME system. Uh, I'll be streaming maybe tonight. Uh, if you watch this video right now, it's the 16th. It's a Thursday. I might do some streaming tonight to actually rebuild this ME system. So come on by if you're available. Um, if I don't do that tonight, then I'll do it tomorrow at the beginning of the stream or at some point. But this thing actually really, really needs to be rebuilt. <laughs> it's just a giant pile of mess right now. Like, I'm just adding uh, interfaces and assemblers to it all over the place right now. And I moved the uh, alloy smelter here also to make a couple of different metals. But it's kind of like a Frankenstein monster machine right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and build these things. So, uh, machine frame, I think the system knows how to make a machine frame. Yes. Build one of those. And I'll use that for our templates here. So, transmitter, pattern, put that away. Receiver pattern. So, transmitter and receiver. Now I'm going to need a second transmitter to put inside the dimension. Okay, so one, two... What am I missing? Another chassis? Hello? Okay, let's just let it do the crafting so I'm not messing with it here okay I have one transmitter make a second one oh we're out of ender pearls what bull I've got a ton of them they're just not in the system haha -ha. there are ten stacks how to do it Okay, so um, one transmitter for home dimension, a receiver for the home dimension, which would be here, a transmitter to leave the other dimension, and then I need uh, converts matter into a beam of energy can be sent. Oh, that's for spawners. Matter ball. Okay, so I need two dialing devices. I guess one for here and one for there. Dial up any nearby matter transmitter to any matter receiver in the Minecraft universe. Requires power. Well, obviously. Oh, yeah, I've got enough to make a lot of those. So let's tell it pattern this up. Give that there, and create two of these. Not sure if I actually need two, but I'm making two just in case. All right, so um, let me get a couple of more energy conduit hardened flux duct whatever here.
I'm not sure how much power these things take, but just to be safe, let's All right, I'm going to do like that. Uh, no, I want this to go down one more space. There. And we can cover up this hole. Like that. Uh, transmitter, receiver, and dialer. So I actually do need all three spaces. Okay, so dialing device go there. Transmitter there. Receiver right there. Okay. Name. Home. Access public, that's totally fine. Matter receiver, wait. Transmitter and receiver. Let's call these both. Um, well, this one's going to be home receiver. This one will be home transmitter, just so we know which is which. All right. Now, so the transmitter, I'll stand there, dial myself out to the other dimension. When I get there, put down the dialing device and a transmitter, because it said there's a receiver, that, or else I wouldn't be able to get there. And it also said there was power there, I think. Am I going to need to take a tesseract with me or an energy cell? Alright, you know what, just in case... I'm trying to cover all my bases here. Just in case, I'm going to take this culinary generator. That's got uh, 10... No, 100,000 RF in it. That's probably enough to recharge one of these and send me back. Just in case I need it. I could even take a solar panel if I really needed to. Which might not be a bad idea, but I might be hitting overkill at this point. Oh, this over here is our legendary loot bag um, storage box that we're going to get to maybe next episode, maybe during live stream. not quite sure yet. But uh, I crafted up a bunch of the ones that we had upstairs. We got 312 legendaries. So uh, this box is where all the loot's going to go when I get around to it. Okay, well, I think I'm as ready as I'm going to get. So we stand on transmitter, dial, destination of other dimension. Uh, let's favorite the home receiver, home transmitter. So this is what's being, what's doing the sending. And this is where I'm going, destination dimension. Receiver is too far to highlight. What? Start a connection. All right, show me the guide. Got the dialer. Destination analyzer. Check the status of receiver or destination. Matter booster, another passive block. Allows you to teleport to an unpowered receiver. Ah. Okay, so you can go to places that are empty and then recharge them. Both the transmitter and the receiver can be set in public mode or private. Okay. Charge porter. That's for, like, mobile stuff. Okay. So, how do I dial there? Do I have to click... Oh, okay. I have to actually click both of them. It's not, like, default. 
Okay, start a connection between the selected transmitter. A single teleport. Does the connection constantly use power if I hit dial? Dial once or dial? Um, let's hit dial once since we have the means to get back. Dialing OK. Uh oh. Okay, I guess we're getting there. Achievement get. The world moved. That's weird. The glowstone was out. Alright. So we're on our receiver, which has some power missing out of it. We're on light blue stained clay. So this is our safety platform. It said that it randomly is supposed to choose things. I guess it doesn't. Huh. It doesn't randomly choose anything. So you can't just get like freebie biomes, you actually have to use demlets to create anything anywhere or else it's an empty dimension. Good to know. Can I steal this stuff though? Yeah, I can steal these. Alright, well let me vein miner that out of the way and get some free glowstone. <laughs> And then we have to put down this other stuff, so... Put a transmitter down. Put our dialing device down, and these do not have power at all. That's about what I thought. So let's put this culinary generator down. That should give power to both. Yep. Okay. Might as well drop off a magnum torch while we're here. So nothing spawns on this little platform of nothing. As far as I can tell, this is a totally empty dimension. And it says we're in a desert biome. At pretty much the exact center of the world. At the height of 65. But yeah, there's nothing here. So, uh, that has given out all of its power. Let's pick it back up. Take it with us. It's a good thing these are cheap. It looks like you have to leave them behind every time. So, matter receiver, matter transmitter. Let's say you send me home. Not enough power to start the teleport. Uh, uh oh? Say what? How are we out of power? It's got power. Does it need the entire thing full? What's going on here? Ah, oh, don't tell me I'm stuck here. I should have brought... Yeah, I should have brought my um, solar panel. But there's always the risk that the um, dimension has no sun also. So, Alright, here's plan B. This is the emergency escape routine. The ender pouch is going to get all of my goodies, including itself, apparently. I didn't know you could do that. Yep, well, it took... It took the pouch inside of itself. <laughs> ah, dang it.
Yeah, okay, well I don't have power to get home. Am I gonna have to just stand here and kill myself? And then come back for my armor later? That looks like I'm gonna have to do it. Dang it, I accidentally clicked the pouch in there or I could save my armor too. Um, so I guess I'll fall into the void and come back for my gravestone later. See, there's a beam here. Like, hey, you can teleport. Dialed to home receiver once. Send me. <laughs> Not enough power. Isn't the thing outside supposed to be sending power here? I mean, come on, really? I guess it just sent it to this. Alright, let's, uh, I guess die into the void. So long, empty world. Respawn. Now I should be outside in the home dimension. Alright. And now we know. 100,000 RF is not enough to power anything. It's okay though, I prepared for all of this. Let's uh, pick up our stuff. Well, that and that can stay there. Okay, let's grab a solar panel. Now that we know there's actually sunlight in there, I keep trying to fly, it's not going to work. Let's just go with like a solar panel 3. Plenty of materials. Give that a second to craft up. Okay. And... Then we're going to need a way to get down to our gravestone from where we spawn. So let's take uh, I don't have any buckets in here, do I? Guess not. All right, let's go grab a water bucket and some blocks and a builder's wand. Eh, clouds. Well, dark clouds. Let's go get some... Um... Oh wait, I can use the elevator. Let's grab a stack of clouds to put down in that new dimension. Put that there. We actually don't need to carry all of this stuff, but... Okay, that's important. Food. This stuff doesn't matter. Okay, so... Wait, where's my Matic? It's in the farm, never mind. No, wait, I had a different one. Hang on. Where did my other Matic go? Oh, it's in there, okay. Okay, so now we know um, the... what do you call it? The guide text said that if you use a... Well, I might have just misinterpreted, which I guess I did. But it said that uh, if you don't select which things to put into it, then it will just randomly create a dimension. But I guess it just picks and chooses a random dimension out of the parts that you have sitting inside your table. You can't just get a fully random dimension for free. So, now I know. Okay, solar panel, generator, that can actually probably stay here, but who cares? Oh, I got the bucket and didn't put water in it. Man, imagine the uh, face palming if that happened. And for those of you that have actually used this mod before, are probably face palming as well for me doing what I did. But, alright, transmitter, you send me back.
All right. Uh, my death point is like straight down from here. Let's uh, turn off the connection from this. Interrupt. So that I don't accidentally walk into it and get sent back without wanting to. We're going to put a solar panel. Say what? Okay, that was weird for a second. Whew, okay. Now this is slowly going to get powered up. Oh, I didn't bring the builder's wand. Oh well. Now let's make our way down to our gravestone and pick up our stuff. I mean, not suffocate on the way there. That would be best. And I will get the cloud blocks ready. Oh, there went a squid. There are mobs in this dimension. I knew it. <laughs> Okay, this block is in water. No, it's not. All right, we're good then. Now, a good reason to use cloud blocks as well is that once you make the floor down here, let's see, now that I've got a cloud platform, There we go. Put all my stuff back on. Uh, pretty sure I didn't have anything in bobble slots. Oh, I actually got the ink from that squid. Huh. Alright. Now I can fly. Let's go pick up this bucket of water. But assuming that I came down here and lost the armor or didn't have a means of flight down there, uh, I could just come back up the water stream grab it with the bucket and then jump down onto the cloud layer right there so huh squids huh anyway uh, I'm gonna leave these clouds down here just in case I ever fall off a platform again or do I take them with me and totally delete this dimension <laughs> That is another option. I'm probably going to do that because there's nothing here. So let's head back up. Make sure these things are powered. That's full. That's full. That's starting to fill back up. So let's grab that. All right. Transmitter. Dialer. You send me home. Go. And we're good. Okay. Now, let's just grab some of these, like, random um, dimlets I've got laying around. Sky normal. Eh. That's boring. Mobs, zombies, default random sky colors if I just put in like plains biome and sky yellow let's see here let me take this out it's still losing power while it's in my inventory okay put you in there Let's say put the plains biome in there. Hang on, can I hit extract? Oh, and then it shuts it down. Okay, well that probably just deleted all my stuff. Plains, yellow sky, and what's this? Dangling modifiers. 
material uh, let's do the material first and then the planes biome what can we still do it we can still do it let's try it then power that back up I'm gonna assume that we lost everything from the other one and I don't want to go there just in case <laughs> uh, but we're gonna need some more uh, we're gonna need more another dialer and another transmitter make one of those alright dialer transmitter I've got the solar panel with me let's get rid of this generator and I guess I can get rid of the cloud blocks and this um, squid ink I don't need that and that one dirt block I'm just gonna put away over here okay now this dimension should have like an actual planes biome in it transmitter from home to three wait let's check is it done okay it's totally done that's charged home to three dial once go for it this should actually have terrain now what well there's clouds and we are in a plains biome And the map, according to the map, this is planes. Let me see something. Let's turn the render distance all the way up. No, there is nothing here. Well, that was a waste. Stealing this stuff, <laughs> which went nowhere. Oh, it's in my inventory. Okay, turn that back down. Okay, well, uh, I tried. <laughs> Let's go back. Transmitter, dialer, right there. and give these power actually I should put this there and this here so that they both get power and I have to wait for daytime okay well, let me come up here and grab some clouds. I guess. Might as well take a souvenir home. Regular clouds. Okay. They're not like sulfur or dark clouds or anything. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to end the episode here, I guess. I'll wait for the sun to come up so that I can actually get back home when these are done charging. 
And uh, I guess until next episode, thanks you guys for watching. Leave comments. Um, leave a like if you're enjoying the series. And I will see you next time. Have a good day.